Now that we've looked at what the rule of thirds is and how artists and designers will put their most important thing or that focal point or the point of interest, whatever you'd like to call it, when they put that point of interest on the rule of thirds, that it makes that artwork more visually interesting and more visually engaging. So we're gonna learn how to apply that knowledge by identifying when that is used in a magazine advertisement. So grab one of your magazines and we'll start flipping through. And you're gonna look at advertisement pages where they might use the rule of thirds. A lot of times, like in this one, this actually sort of goes a little bit onto the second page, but this advertisement here does not use the rule of thirds. Notice she would be the most important thing in this picture, but she's put right in the middle of the page, kind of with equal distance on the left and right sides. So this would not work for this assignment. Um, a lot of times you may see two page spreads, but again, this one is very centered as well. It's right in the middle. Um, so I'm just gonna flip through until I find one that looks like it might be um, on the rule of thirds with the most important part. Um, this image might be getting closer. I would say, of course, this bright orange would be the most important thing, be that point of interest. But if I apply the rule of thirds, it's a little bit too close to center. Um, so it doesn't really fall on that rule of thirds. So that's a little closer, but it's not perfect. Not quite. Now this page, this page does. On this advertisement, one thing that can help you identify what the focal point is or the point of interest is, is to think about what the advertisement is selling. So this advertisement is for um, Bernhardt, a furniture company, and they are selling, in this piece, this chair. So this chair is the most important thing. It's my focal point. And if I just visually take the width and kind of find thirds and divide it this way. Notice how that chair lines up right on the right roll of thirds. If I take the vertical height and divide it into thirds where they're evenly spaced, and if I bring that across, that chair intersects right on this lower one. So that chair is perfectly on the rule of thirds. Now, once you find a, a magazine advertisement that does that, you are going to very carefully rip that page out um, and try not to tear the page, just sort of get it where it's a, a smoothish edge along the side. And then you're gonna need your ultra fine point Sharpie and a ruler. You can also do this in pencil first if you want to make sure you're, you're measuring things out correctly. So I'm actually gonna start with a pencil. So now I am going to apply the rule of thirds to this picture. So I can use my ruler and I can measure the width of that page. It's not quite nine, it's close. So I'm just gonna say a rough guess of about three inches. And just near the top of the page, I'm gonna put a little tick mark around the three and the six. So that way it's three, six, nine. And that looks pretty close. You can also, if you don't wanna use a ruler to measure it out and divide by three, you can also just guesstimate. A trick that I like to do is just to take um, two fingers and sort of visualize that width and say, okay, maybe about there. And then I can take my other hand and measure and say, okay, is this the same width as this? Is the same width as this? And if they're all even, that looks that looks pretty close to me. So I'm gonna make a little mark on my paper to help me figure out that width. And just using, this doesn't have to be exactly mathematically precise perfect, but we do want it pretty close. But using that little trick to measure with your fingers can help get those pretty even. So now that I've figured out that spacing, I am going to take my Sharpie and line my ruler up to where it is nice and vertical. Find my mark again. Make sure it's not tilted or leaning. And then just draw that line all the way down that piece of paper. 
Now that may be a little bit hard for you to see. I'll go over it in a white pen for you to see a little bit better. But on your picture, you can go over it with just that black Sharpie. This picture is kind of dark, which makes it a little bit harder to see. And then I'll line up the second line and bring it all the way down as well. So now I have my vertical lines done. I can double check. Again, they are evenly split into thirds. Okay, so I've gone over this now with white ink. That way it shows up a little bit better on film. And the next thing that we're gonna do is take the height and divide the height of our image, of our advertisement, into even thirds. So again, I can measure that with a ruler if I want to and take the length and divide it by three to figure out the measurements, or I can just use my guesstimation trick. So I'm gonna see that width is about there. I don't know, maybe about that would be even. And then take my fingers. Um, let's see, that middle part looks bigger, so I'm gonna scooch those in a little bit. Check it again. That looks about right. Yep, so I can mark that with my pencil and use my ultra fine point Sharpie to bring those lines down and across. But I'm gonna do this in white pen just so you can see it better. So there's my image. I now have the rule of thirds evenly spaced, and that is really important. They need to be the same. So they're the same across, and they're the same going down. Now what I can do is step number two, which is circle your focal point. So my focal point or point of interest we said is this chair. That chair falls on the lower right intersection of the rule of thirds. Now the chair is a little bit bigger than that, but the center of the chair falls right there on that intersection point, perfectly aligned with the rule of thirds. The next step is gonna to be to talk about the leading lines. So in this picture, what are the leading lines from around the page that help lead me into my focal point or my point of interest? And for this chair, I would say it's several things. I think this bright gold frame on the chair, those things both sort of help swoop you into the page. So I'm gonna draw a line, a little arrow following that line. That helps lead me in from that side. And this side helps lead me in right there. And I can say the same thing for the cushion and this cushion. Notice back here I have this rug edge and it kind of moves me up and in from that side of the picture. Um, I've also got this bookshelf at the back. Notice how that bookshelf, that nice bar, kind of points us down and into the lamp and that sort of draws our eyes down from the top of the page. And then over here on the left side, I've got a lot of horizontal things which are moving us in. So this table, for example, that nice bright gold edge, that helps lead us over and into that chair line. I can actually say lots of things. There's an, a crease here on the couch that lead me in and visually bring me there. Now on the bottom of the page, I do also have this chair leg which leads me up and into that focal point. So I would consider those some of the leading lines that help visually move our eyes into that focal point. Because an advertiser's main goal is to get you to look at what they want you to look at. So they're gonna use really effective compositional techniques to make sure that you do that. If they can get you to look at their product and focus in where they want you to focus in, you're much more likely to buy their product and they're much more likely to make some money. So those are the steps of this assignment today. Find a picture that uses the rule of thirds, apply the rule of thirds, 
circle your focal point and draw what leading arrows help lead you into that focal point. I wanna show you a few more examples. This is an advertisement that I found for um, cinnamon rolls, and they've used some really good visual tricks to make those cinnamon rolls the focal point on the upper left intersection point of the rule of thirds. So everything is in black and white except for the cinnamon rolls, which obviously that makes them really pop out to the viewer and catch your eye. And they have a lot of good leading lines leading us into those into that cinnamon roll that she's eating. So we have her leg here in the foreground, that knee sort of leads you up, her hand leads you in, her shoulder leads you in. She's looking down at the cinnamon roll. Her shoulder leads you up and in, and her hand holding it leads you up and in. So lots of really good leading lines, all getting you to that focal point. This is a magazine advertisement that I found um, for Children's Place. And when I apply the rule of thirds to this one, obviously this little kid is our main focal point. And the thing about this, about this is they've left so much great open blank space around this little kid that it's obvious that she's the, rule, she's the focal point on the rule of thirds in the upper right hand intersection point. Um, so we've got a lot of good leading lines moving us into her, in her figure as well. From the left side, we're moved in through that long extended leg. We've got her arm extended. We've got this foot that swoops you up and in from this direction and then her arm and her hair and all that sort of moves you in to the center of her torso. So that's a really another really great example of the rule of thirds in action. Now this advertisement is interesting as well, but it uses the rule of thirds because I would say that her torso, where she's wearing that really prominent um, striped shirt would be our focal point, the most important thing. That's on the upper right intersection point of the rule of thirds. And we have a lot of great leading lines moving us into this composition. She's got her legs crossed, moves you right up to her upper body. We also have the table that she's sitting at where she's holding her coffee cup and that table line moves you right up her arm and into her torso. And all of that is sort of emphasizing her outfit that she's wearing.